Well, good afternoon, hockey fans. Welcome back to Flames Insider Weekly's game day review. Tonight we have the Calgary Flames in Boston to take on the Bruins at 5 o'clock at the TD Gardens. And boy, what a great effort last night from the Calgary Flames. Let's talk about tonight's game as well as last night's game right away here. Yes, so tonight the Calgary Flames are in Boston taking on the Bruins at 5 o'clock. A nice early start once again, just like last night's 5 o'clock start. But it was the Calgary Flames start last night that was very slow and sluggish. Falling 2-0 after the first period, but they managed to find themselves 5-3 winners against the Red Wings. Goals coming from Monaghan, Brody, Lindholm, Goudreau, and Froelich. And if you watch yesterday's game day review, you'll remember that I said that Goudreau and Froelich would be the players to watch, and they sure were. Now, as far as Froelich's goal being an empty netter goes, they don't ask how they go in, they just ask how many. And I thought Froelich was great, as well as Goudreau last night. So, Goudreau once again putting up four points that's back-to-back -back four point nights equaling up for eight points in his last two games now with last night's flames victory the flames once again solidified top spot in the pacific again with 54 points and they are third in the league standings out of 31 teams the boston bruins right now sit third in the atlantic with 48 points on the season now right beside me here, we do have the Boston Bruins starting lineup tonight with their starting goaltender going to look like Tuka Rask in net for them. Mike Smith will be between the pipes once again for the Flames. Now the Flames lineups are going to look the exact same as they did last night with the first line being Goudreau, Monaghan, and Lindholm. The second line will be Kachuk, Frolik, and Backlund. The third line will be Bennett, Jankowski, and Neal. And for the fourth line it's going to be Dubé, Hathaway, and Ryan at the center position. Now last summer we all remember a trade that really did shape the Flames' future as far as this season goes. Flames sent over Michael Furlan and Dougie Hamilton in exchange for defenseman Noah Hannafin and forward Elias Lindholm. So far on the season, as far as the defensive swap goes, Noah Hannafin has 19 points where Dougie Hamilton only has 10 so far and Elias Lindholm has 19 goals and 47 points, already a career high. His 47 points total so far this season is more than Furlan and Hamilton's combined. Now of course we don't want to speculate who won the trade just yet, or at all for that matter, but so far the Calgary Flames have definitely got themselves some quality players in Noah Hannafin and Elias Lindholm, and it shows night in and night out. Once again, everybody, that's going to wrap it up for Flames Insider Weekly's game day review between the Calgary Flames and the Boston Bruins. I just want to give out a shout out to my two buddies, Wyatt Dahl and Dylan Terry, two big Bruins fans. I know you guys are going to be wearing that black and gold tonight. And you know what? Best of luck to your team tonight. I'll be sure to text you both after the game, win or lose. Got to be good spirits around here no matter what, always. But everyone, thank you again for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. That's going to wrap it up, though. Flames and Bruins, 5 o'clock at the TD Gardens in Boston.